So where I last left off, Shannon went within a dream mode to where she ended up in the golden land that Beatrice gave the invitation to, apparently. Because apparently what Beatrice observed was that Shannon is just going through all that, you know, work, lifestyle, without... You know, any sort without any sort of compensation whatsoever. So, so Beatrice is like, "Hey, I want you uh, to be in the tea party with me, and we can just so we can go back to the old days because you know that's where like Yasu really wanted, right? But fortunately, Shannon was like, "Well, as much as I want to, I want I have to wake up for work and then." She, and Beatrice is like, why? Why why do you want to go back to your boring lifestyle? And Shannon is like, well, there are some things, you know, that are more fun than the magic. I don't, I don't think magic really has anything to do with it. It's like, you'd rather, like, would you want to prefer a, a boring lifestyle in which you don't get rewarded for? Or do you want, like, something like, you know, a relaxing rewarding lifestyle without any sort of consequences whatsoever you know that's where it turned out to be in terms of from the last part and then i don't know where it was hinting how what beatrice was lacking or what yasu was you know lacking per se but there's that but right now we are in the uh you know the family conference there is no angie but there's this time that there's osumu so that's for damn sure but keep in mind this is a very very separate tale like very separate time i feel like it's more of an alternate timeline compared to the yeah the, um, what it was like compared to the other stories that is always going to be the same loop so let's continue i simply could not hide my shock how had she formed a relationship with the children of the family, despite being only a servant? Natsuki had probably been very careful to prevent such a relationship. However, it's no surprise that Jessica, all alone on this island, would want to be friends with a kid her age. And Shannon, who was also alone on this island without any friends her age, though they both understood their relationship as master and servant, they somehow managed to strike up a friendship. Then, at the family conference, Jessica had introduced Shannon to Georgia Badler. All of the adults had their hands full with their complicated discussion in the mansion. During that time, Shannon was able to set aside her role as a servant for a little bit, acting her age with Jessica, George, and Badler. Alright, hold on. I forgot I, I didn't uh, bring my coffee with me. Alrighty, I'm back. My, uh, my daily caffeine with me. Yeah, if I, if anything, if I'm going to be pausing, it's going to be either like I'm going to get some you know, family in the background, which can be a bit annoying, but it just tends to happen, you know? So, okay. I didn't even know that Shannon had constructed this new world so quickly. What do you mean by Shannon? Like, constructed this... Oh... Okay, I guess, you know, constructing this new world is another word for, like, this new mentality. As a butterfly hiding in the shadows, I observed this new world of Shannon's. Ran around the Rose Garden and Beach. You know, for you guys having like a private beach, so there, there is no. I got. I, I'm surprised there ain't no uh, uh, beach fan service. Dana. Kono toki bakari wa Shannon chan mo poshisou no ega o misete kureta ze. Chatta. Hashagi 
今でこそバトラも立派な身長だけど当時は私やシャノンの方が背が高いし力も強かったっけ当時の俺は成長がちょいと遅かったからな<笑>成長が遅い方の方が背は伸びると聞いたことがあります Ain't that the truth? <laughs> <笑>そうだろうなシャノンちゃんの胸もあの頃は全然こんなじゃなかったもんな。Oh, you're bringing back that face again, huh? We're going back to fuck it episode one. そんなことはないよ。<笑>シャノンだってあの頃からもう女性の魅力を持ち始めてたよ。ねえ。I mean, considering how Shannon has been working for like over a decade or so. I mean, I'm pretty sure that, that was in the dialogue, right? Like, if Shannon has been working for quite a long time, then she's she been started working ever since she's a wee little kid. Was it over a decade? I don't really recall. I, do, I usually don't really. I usually would care less about. Shannon's life. Jose no m i l k u t i n a n d a o y o r s e a a n o k o r a Mada, Oremo, k a w a i a t a n a n a t s u k o k a t a k a a c h i r a i t o i e r u h i m o n i Aoi h a r n o i a z m a o k a n s t a m u n d o s j o i n o a n i k t o i s h a n i s h a n o n c h a n o m u n e a i k t s k r a i k a y o r n i k o s o k o s o t a h a n a s i a t a n o g a n a t s k a s i z e <laughs> Damn, I can't believe Balor is in the pits. So, 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 いとこ同士での夜のワイダンはむしろ健全な発育の証であってそのいやーみんなでいとこ部屋で深夜になるまでそういう話をしてたっけな隣のクラスの誰々がキスをしたらしいとかサマーキャンプで素敵だなと思ってたこと手をつなげちゃったとか。George is just sitting there, is like, Well, why do I have to be in this fucking conversation? <laughs> <laughs> ただ男女で一緒にいたいだけというとてもシンプルでピュアでそれでいて高潔な最初の恋素敵だわ年頃の少年少女たちが愛の世界を思い浮かべながら語り合うそそんなことも。ありましたでしょうか ?No <laughs> <laughs> Oh the grin on his face I can tell he's gonna say yes 何をとぼけてるんだか耳まで真っ赤になりながらもシャロンちゃんが一番興味津々って感じだったじゃねえかよ<laughs> 興,興味津々なんてことはありませんでした私はそのみ皆さんよくいろいろなことをご存知だなとその I was just surprised about how much everyone knew and uh うんシャノンが一番かまととぶっててそのくせ興味津々だった一番むっつりスケベだった<笑>
Well, how 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 can how do you know that though? It's not like you can read. It's not like you can actually have the psyche to guys to read what she does. そう、いつもこんな感じ。昼は子供らしく走り合い、夜は枕を寄せて秘密の話に花を咲かせた。それら全部をひっくるめて、どれも懐かしいね。エッチな話をひそひそして、親の汗をとか近づいてきたら、
知りたいですか Do I wanna know? 知りたい恋ですこい Love? Nah, b e a t r i c i thinks love gives cooties. これ前に約束した推理小説あ,ありがとうございますお借りしますねいいよシャノンちゃんにやるよ俺はもう読み終わっちまったしそそんなもらってしまっては悪いです高いものでしょうしバザーでほんの何百円かでまとめ買いしたやつだから few hundred yen at a bar? Damn. 気にするなってそれより早く全部読んでまたいろいろと議論をしようぜシャノンちゃんといろいろ議論するのは楽しいからさはい私も楽しいですミステリーは一人で読むよりも二人で読む方が楽しいですよね議論したり妄想したりするのが楽しいよなミステリーは読んで半分を楽しみ<笑>読んだ人間同士で語り合って初めて全てを楽しめるってのが俺の持論だぜ Our relationship began when we realized that we both read mystery novels. We were both surprised and very interested to find that the other not only read tons of mystery novels, but read them very thoroughly. Ever since then, it's been like this. Separate from the games we played with all the cousins, the two of us met together for some time alone. At first, it was like some, a sort of contest to see who knew more than the other. However, eventually, this turned into respect for. How much the other had read and how deeply they were able to think about it. Respect, trust, those emotions made our friendship even stronger. Well, gain, I mean, respect being earned, not given, is the way to where、um, trust can be built. Of course, all of that had still fallen within the category of friendship, quote unquote. But we were still slightly aware of the fact that the other was of the opposite sex, making for a relationship that was charming or useful, or maybe you could call it exciting. However, we were still at the age where calling us young men and women would probably be a bit too gracious. Of course, we didn't know a thing about love, so we couldn't understand that exciting feeling in our chest. Both bitter and sweet that we only felt when we were alone together. However, we realized that there was some unknown emotion hidden behind that feeling, and as our hearts raced, we had our hands upon the door. That was the exciting age we were at. So, at some point, our discussions about mystery novels became just an, an excuse for us meeting alone. ホワイダニットを大切にした推理小説ってあまりねえんだよなホワイダニット犯人の動機ですか The culprit's motive. あ,あ推理小説で探るべき3つの論点はフーダニットハウダニットそしてホワイダニット Who and what? Who, how, and why? この前者2つを扱う小説は結構多いと思うが最後のホワイダニットを扱う小説って案外ないんだよな。Well, the, I guess that I mean, the first two is fine. The third, people, a lot of people be like within the third of why done it, though, within, the, within this visual novel. You know. Why did b e a t r i c i have such a pleasure in murdering people and repeating the cycle of it? 
犯人特定後に動機を自白する作品は結構あると思いますけどそれを犯人が自白する前に推理できるようになってなければダメなんだ動機がないと思われていた人物が推理不能な動機により事件に及ぶってのは俺は個人的にはアンフェアだと思ってるウダネウズデコプレハウダネハウディディコミットクライム Why done it? Why did he commit the crime? 誰が犯人かとかどそれを問う作品はすげえ多いぜ。Oh, I did not mean to click that. いや、ほとんどだろうな。しかし、動機を推理する作品ってのは決して多くないと思う。そうですね。誰が犯人かとか、どんなトリックでとか。それを問う作品はすげえ多いぜいやほとんどだろうなしかし動機を推理する作品ってのは決して多くないと思う There are tons of work that ask about who to call well yeah I don't really agree because it's like what's the Because a lot of the times it's more of like a puzzle game in this, this than the sort. Who, how, why no mitsu no naka de Ichiban naiga shiro ni sare te iru yoso ka mo shire masen ne. Hoi da nitto o taizet ni shinai suiri shou setz te noa Nanda ga hito aji tari nai yo ni omo. Ya, tsumara nai te itten janai. Nan te yu no ka. 一番大切なものが足りないような気がするんだ一番大切なものが足りない心だよ心が足りない The heart is what's missing. Interesting. 心人の心ってのはすごく重要だと思うんだ。人間が殺人を決意し計画し準備し実行に踏み切るにはものすごい大きな心の力が必要なはずなんだ人は心で動いてるんだぜ、huh. See, that, that's confusing because I usually hear I thought When it comes to murder, it, uh, it usually comes off as like a heartless ideal. But at the same time, you really look at this and be like, well, how do you carry it out and have a force of heart? You know? <laughs> kind of makes you wonder at times, but I don't know. In other words, only the heart can kill a person. Oh. When an emotional upheaval grows strong enough to make a person want to kill, the result is the tragedy called murder. Obviously. You see in enough melodrama quite a lot. If we turn it around, does that mean that the true way to close in on the crime is by searching for the heart that brings about the tragedy of murder? Only the heart can kill a person. So if a person has been killed, he must search for that heart. That's what he's saying. That's why. I'm not a person who's just 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 a person. Hmm. Can enjoy novels for the culprit, just a homicidal maniac who kills for fun. See, when you first read Umineko, the first four、uh, question arcs, you kind of question whether Pietro Ricci 
or the culprit or whatever is just repeatedly killing people for the sake of pleasure. Unless you try to look hard enough to find a motive and be like, oh, this is just for the money or this is just for like, you know, you hate how the Ushiro and Mia family uh, discourse turns out. Well, who knows? But if anything, the family is dysfunctional at the end of the day. <laughs> As he spoke, he looked back at me and smiled. Before today, I used to like novels that focused on exposing tricks. However, I decided to look for novels like the ones he recommended in the future. Hmm. <laughs> this isn't limited to the mystery genre. All humans are moved by their hearts all the time. Um, more or less, keep in mind, like, not every human being are usually going to be moved by their heart. And it really depends on how bad their lifestyle is and what really uh, caused them, you know, to be turned out to be like mentally negative. Because not all people are mentally positive, you know. Let's get let's let's be real for here. You know, I don't think every human is going to be moved by their heart, regardless. You know, how much you can convince them. Being able to notice that the heart is what follows for interactions between people. No, interactions between hearts. None of us humans can live on our own, and yet we have no way of no way of peeking into the hearts of others. Yeah, we're not, you know, we're not necessarily mind readers, that's for damn sure. We have no way of peeking into the hearts of others. That's why every meeting between people is a mystery of the heart. Finding those, reasoning about them, and understanding each other is the key to interactions between people and the hearts. The two of us are here all alone, talking together about mysteries. And through that, we are searching out each other's hearts. Speaking of the heart's mysteries, I want you to feel about me the way I feel about you. We're both searching, trying to figure out the depths of the other's hearts, the other's heart in this mystery of love. The mystery of what of love. Hmm. I mean, I do like this you know, interesting CG right there. Shannon chan to Hanaster to Atoyumani Jikanga Sugichimana. Sure does. He seemed to be speaking the words of my heart. We were thinking the same things, the same words came out. Yeah, don't you hate it when you want to do things, but at the same time, like, time gets consumed? You'd rather, like, when you want to do things, you just want time to stop. And then when you, um, when you realize that, you know, you had enough of that, you know, enough of it, resume the time. 
六軒島で一番楽しいのはこうしてシャノンちゃんと話すことだからな When I saw this when I saw that his smiling eyes were looking right at me, I turned away. I couldn't let him see my suddenly red face. The bookshop on Nijima that I go to and the bookshop he goes to in the city are on completely different scales. The book exchange between the two of us had become completely one sided, with him giving me all the books. Shannon Chama, it's my shioni or Tuzukerkinanda. Let's say hypothetically that you want to quit. He said it almost carelessly. Maybe he was a bit embarrassed since he laughed weakly and blushed a little. So, s t a r a k o n d a m o Jikamo Nanimo Kinisizni Sumo, na. So, this ne. Zuto Ishani Irare must ne. The little secret dates on this island only happened a few times a year. And even when they did happen, it was only for a short, uncertain period of time. It wouldn't work over the phone or with letters. We can only talk about our mystery when we're standing together like this. Certain? Why is he certain? You'll come, I'll come for you riding a white horse. Hmm, where have I heard that line before? <laughs> After saying this, he turned away. He was probably too proud to show me his blushing cheeks. But even without seeing, I knew what his face looked like. To come riding on the white horse,、um, isn't that, uh, isn't that like a prince riding a white horse? So, what exactly does that mean? Um, um, does it mean you're going to be my prince? My mind was going blank, so I just couldn't reason out his mystery of love, even though it was all plain and simple. So, so, no, he was. It's a good one, the show. Shannon Chan, say, Kishin, Stanara. Sugunisa. Anytime when you feel like it. My heart skipped the beat. It was so sweet, yet it hurt. If only I had been a bit more foolish and courageous, I could have said then and there that I was already prepared and asked him to take me away from this island right away. But I couldn't say it. I had to think carefully about my future, for both of our sakes. My heart was filled with pointless. Senseless thoughts. <laughs> With his back still to me, he scratched his head and laughed. I knew he was doing this out of embarrassment, so I could clearly tell what his expression must have been. In the same way, he must have realized what my face looked like. We're both puzzle solvers of love. We theorize about each other's love, solving each other's mysteries. 
くれてありがとうございます。So this is interesting right here. So Shannon is given a book, and here we have the philosophy that involves love and within a mystery novel. Murder can only be dealt within the heart, and only what driven by and what and what driven to move you toward is with the, the heart. See, this one it's kind of weird because it really it, it looks like both Shannon and Balor have a some sort of like you no know, romantic in. Well, not really pairing, but a romantic interest with each other, and this is just within episode seven, comparing to the counterpart episodes, like previous episodes, where like Shannon is just you know, you know, picked by choice by George, picked within choice by George. That is, so, hmm. 時間は無限にあるぜいいえそれでは申し訳ないです待ちくたびれちゃったら申し訳ないです<笑>だから決心しましたうん決心しますというのが正しいでしょうか今日今すぐ使用人を辞めるという意味じゃありませんそう1年 who, who knows when you'll、uh, give up on your servant you know occupation 1年後に if a year after now You still feel like coming for me on a white horse, and me too. If I still like, if I still like you a year from now, I'd like to dedicate the rest of my life to you. One year later, in the same place, I want to decide. 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 春夏、秋冬。Spring, summer, autumn, winter. それだけの時間を過ごして、自分の心と正直に向き合うといいぜ。で、ですから、来年。きっと、迎えに来てくださいね。おう。He responded to my cowardly determination with a quick, strong answer. That's for certain. I see. So, this emotion that feels like sweet suffocation is love? It is an emotion I do not know. One I do not. So, that's what b e a t the r i c h i was lacking. <laughs> oh my god, I was like, wait, what is it I'm missing? So she's lacking the love. No fucking wonder. You know, though my magic can grant any wish, though my paradise can grant any wish, that thing I cannot have, that incomprehensible emotion that burns like fire, and yet madly one wants to hold it close. All I know is that no matter how great a wish I might become, I cannot create this emotion. It must be given by another person. 
For the first time, I realized that I wasn't all-powerful, and I knew what Shannon had discovered in the world of humans. Shannon, you win. Love, is it? It may, the, it may be the most important element and the one that I lack. Shannon, I'll watch and see how your love develops. So please, just teach me more and more about this new emotion. What is this new emotion that we can discover more on? Days of Trial. Oh, we're back to this. Great. This <laughs> してあげるわ。私、バカは嫌いだから。借りの名として、くれると名乗りなさい。クレア。それとも、ベアとがいい感謝します。yeah, don't want don't want to uh, confuse b between names, you know, even though the her voice sounds the same. Burn Castle had given Claire a fake form. It was a temporary form for the person acting the part of Beatrice, a fake to fool those who still hadn't discovered Beatrice's true form.私の物語なのですかリオンこれが異なる世界のあなたにして我の物語私が人間としてでなく魔女として生きる世界の物語私も自分の人生にもしも想像することがあります しかし、あなたの話す物語は私の想像を超えすぎている。それでももう一人のお前の辿った人生だ。だからって容易に受け入れられるものではありません。Leon suddenly yelled and looked at the floor. Leon already knew. Because of the fragments lent by Burn Castle, Leon knew. There was a different world where Leon lived as the Golden Witch Beatrice, and in this world eventually, on the day of the 1986 October Family Conference, she would be the ringleader of a terrible crime. <laughs> It is crazy that you can be the counterpart of. I don't know. It is destined. It is fate to be destined. I, I guess. I don't know. Exactly. の人生では私が使用人をしていてかと思えばいつの間にか魔女になっていてそしてやがては恐ろしい殺人事件を何度も繰り返すそれをどう理解しろと言うんですああそうだろうな誰にも<笑> Leon 
だからベルンカステルはお前とこいつ出会うはずのない自分同士をこうして出会わせたんだ別に深い意味はないわ単なる気まぐれようーん誰にも理解できない動機だからリオンせめてお前だけは理解しろこの物語の主役は俺じゃないお前だ俺はお前の理解を助けるための解除役に過ぎねえ yeah, As weird as it is, you, you, sh you, you are the only one who should figure out the motives to why. And I assume this is the why done it part. So. さあなそれを考えるのは自分だ俺が納得してもお前が納得するわけじゃねえお前の納得はお前がするんだ Yeah that's just Willard Yeah that's the thing right like there's a difference between like an opinion and a fact So what Willard say is more of an opinion so But I'm pretty sure you don't agree what you're. I'm pretty sure you won't agree it, so it's up for you to make your you know, decision for yourself. No. <laughs> you know, I, I always love to fuck around with the word that.、Uh, a word called axiom. So this is the weird part when the Umineko went in terms of like the red truth, the blue truth. So, an axiom is a definition of a unjustified truth. But the thing is, like, both of the、uh, categories of truth within Numineko differentiate within, between each other to where it's like, it's, I don't think it's an un, you know, undeniable fact. You know? ベアトリーチャが起こしたといういくつものゲーム版という名の事件を見ましたそして今もう一人の私が語る異なる人生についても聞いていますでも全然それと事件がつながらない理解ができない私もこの時やがてそのような恐ろしい事件を引き起こすことになるなど想像することもできませんでしたいえ仮に想像し得たとしても私にあのような事件を起こす力はありませんでしただろうなお前の不幸は多分。非分の謎を解いたことだろうなえあのおじいさまが出題したという隠し黄金の非分ですか事件ごとに異なる共犯者を得るシステム導き出される推理は犯人が莫大な金を持っていたという可能性そして全てを黄金鏡に招きすべての恋を成就させるもう一つのシステムどうだけでなくそこまでをお察しでしたかそれこそが第四のゲームの最後の謎の答えだ fourth game oh right fourth the fourth episode お前の最大の不幸は非分を解き。God damn it, I killed off the rain in the background too. Fucking hell. 本当の意味で黄金の魔女として復活し、その魔力を得てしまったことだ。今となっては
あれはやはり不幸なことだったのでしょうか I don't know if it's just mis. I don't know if it's within. I don't know if it's within like a good motive or just a misfortune. わかりません Yeah. しかし1986年にバトラさんが帰ってくるという事実が変わらぬ限り何かの悲劇は起こったでしょうそうだなバトラが帰ってくるのが1年早いか遅いかだったら事件は起こらなかったかもしれねえ。Alright, so this is a good time to end it from here. So we are on chapter 14, in which you kind of wonder about. Oh god, this fucking. This chair is a. I'm not really a big fan of using this chair. Because this fucking chair looks like it leans back a bit more, but I can't really, like, do anything. It looks like I would fall off. But, yeah, so we have. This is a weird part, right? Shannon having, you know, some sort of conversation with Balor, in which she felt very interested in. And this is what, why she would prefer the human world. It's all because of love. So, without love, you know, the truth cannot be seen. Without love, you know. Nothing can really、uh, flourish within the perfect sense. So now we're just, you know, it all comes to the why done it part, the motive. You think everything, you know, moves by within the heart. So, next part, we will continue more of this. Chapter 14, you know. We're really, we brought, it is all within bringing Claire and Leon in. And with that, so, that said, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. And take care.